So I've got a question here, Jordan, do you think the legal system is designed to protect the rich? Is the legal system designed to protect the rich? <laughs> what do you think? How much do the top lawyers charge, man? Is it designed to protect the rich? Here's a little good example. I live in South Australia currently, and there was a big controversial case here in the South Australian court system from Eugene McGee, who was a lawyer, barrister, QC, I'm not sure exactly what he was, and he had a lot of lawyer mates, legal mates in the South Australian court system. So this lawyer, barrister, QC guy, whatever, Eugene McGee, killed, hit and killed a cyclist. Didn't stop. I'll put a link down below. Read the case. It's just a Wikipedia page. It's a quick read, but it just shows you what's going on. So this, this, uh, this character killed a cyclist, kept driving, was drunk, lied to police. His brother lied to police, blah, 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 etc. Just tried to get out of it. Um, it's in the Wikipedia page. What was, the, what was the terms he got? He got a 12-month suspended license, no prison time, a $3,000 fine for killing someone whilst you're drunk and failing to stop. A few months, uh, another situation was two cyclists that I personally know in South Australia were involved in an accident. One cyclist, they were both drunk, born drugs, I'm not sure exactly, but they were both cruising along at night time after a party. And one cyclist was driving a car, one cyclist was riding a bike on the road with no lights, I think. There was an accident. And one cyclist was seriously hurt, put in a hospital, etc. Today, the cyclist can ride his bike, he's not dead. Nothing wasn't good, but I'm just saying the cyclist who hit the other cyclist with his car end up nine months in prison. So you've got a cyclist hits his mate, nine months in prison, and his mate's not dead. you got a, a lawyer, hits someone, fucking kills him, no prison time. How the fuck does that work? And this is what the, the, judge, the judge says. District Court Judge Wayne Chivell said about the cyclist case, cyclist versus cyclist case, it says, we have to consider the clear intention of Parliament to deter murderers from leaving an accident scene. So you hit your friend, your friend's not dead, but we have to put you in prison for nine months. And Eugene McGee, he fucking killed someone. But he's a lawyer, he's a barrister, he's got buddies. Look at him a $3,000 fine. 3000 bucks to a lawyer? Do you know how much fucking money that is? That's fucking nothing. That's a hooker for a night, man. That's a fucking hooker for a night. So that's how the system works. People often think, you can stand up and fight, and you can. And I'm willing to go to prison. I'm willing to go bankrupt. I'm just saying that... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think you know what I'm saying, that is that uh, when you go in the system, it gets deep. And my pockets aren't deep. That's why I represent myself. Because I understand how it works. So if you're going to go to court, you've got to be fucking mega rich and connected. Or you go represent yourself and <laughs> just fucking cross your fingers that you get as much publicity as possible. Because you're going to get fucking fisted in court. Because it comes down to money and who you know. It's not what you did, it's who you fucking know at the end of the day.